what's the word, gang? So Rallo got a message for Big Meech. And um, I guess he's responding to some of the rumors that's been out in regards to the Cuffy situation. I did a little bit of research on that. And um, I'm waiting to get these transcripts that uh, Mickey Truth was talking about. But apparently Mickey Truth say, if you look inside the transcripts, the feds confirmed that Big Meech didn't know anything about what the girl Tammy was doing when she was, you know, doing a third party snitch cooperation with the feds. So, you know, that's still up in the air. They still going to look into that, you know. Um, me personally, you know, Big Meech story alone, that shit probably worth a billion dollars. You know, because think about it. They put it in motion pictures. It go to the movies. That movie definitely going to do 500 million to a billion in sales. Come on. Think about American Gangster. But this American Gangster of our time, a lot of these stories are before we were even, like, a lot of us, like, you know, not a lot of us, but, you know, a lot of people that's intrigued with this culture, you know, before they was even alive or they was young, you know, very young. So, you know, now you got the story like Big Meech, just recent, you know what I'm saying, within the past couple of decades, you know, his story, he made millions of dollars, but um, Rallo got this message, he say, the streets is dead, OG, get this legal money and stay out these F niggas way, don't even worry about a F nigga, say, most of these so-called street dudes ain't even made a million out the dope game, but always talk street shit, now, I want y'all to get in the comments and give me your opinion on that, because... That is something to say, you know, Rallo, he's on record for making millions out the dope game as well as, you know, being incarcerated for it, you know, coming home and still going back to his community, trying to rebuild what he what he had started building before he got locked up, which is credit to him, because a lot of people, once they get hit by the streets, like as far as go to jail or you know, certain people might not be riding with them or people cooperating on them. A lot of times they turn their back on the streets when they get out and they, they be like, you know, I ain't rocking with them guys. I ain't rocking with that neighborhood no more. They did me bogus. So I know it's different aspects of it, but uh, Rallo definitely a stand-up dude for doing that, I think. You know, going back to his neighborhood and trying to build what he had started building before he got locked up. Now, Big Meech, you know, we haven't heard much about Big Meech we seen the picture go viral yesterday, him getting a fresh cut by the barber. And the barber took a um, picture with him, you know. Um, I think that um, Big Meech got a bright future ahead of him. That's for sure. You know, and as uh, far as the streets, he don't really need to even dabble into the streets. He could probably even become a motivational speaker and get 20, 30, 40, 50,000 a show, you know, just going around the country motivating people because I'll go see it. I'll go see what he's talking about because whether you come from the streets or you know somebody close to you that was in the streets, you know, a lot of people can relate to it, especially if here in America, you know, because um, being brown, black, you know, this, this, this type of stuff just comes with it. You know what I'm saying? It becomes a lifestyle. It's a way to get about the streets. But uh, Big Meech, salute to him. He's home. Um, right now, I think he's spending time with family, you know? That's probably what it is. Spending a lot of time with family, just adjusting. Remember, our phone didn't even exist. You know what I'm saying? And back then, shit, we had, like, what, MySpace? We got all these social media platforms now. You know, everything moving in seconds. You know, just adjusting to that, it's probably crazy. Even though he was in the feds, I wouldn't be surprised if he had an iPhone in that damn federal penitentiary. He Big Meech, you know, um, but I wonder who you think hit him, though, hit his hand, though, like far as rappers, because I know for a fact. Yo, what's the word, gang? So got this news to report. We had heard about this a few days ago um, when I was speaking with WAC 100. He was saying how Blue Da Vinci was nervous that Big Meech was coming home in less than a month. Well, it looks like it's official. Big Meech is home and um, he actually be on house arrest up until 2026 and i guess they avoiding the halfway house due to it you know it being a long-term situation for the next couple of years they decided to you know say go ahead and give them house arrest so what city that is i don't know just yet uh, this is still breaking news but big meech is home family um you got dog face tv you know what i'm saying definitely connected to detroit heavily he even posted it, Big Meech is home, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, a few different people in my inbox saying that as well. So, 
you know, Big Meech is home, family. Like, I doubt if he, you know, gonna be doing some, you know, any videos or something. I think I was the one who reported when uh his brother was home, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, it's official, though. Big Meech is home, and uh, welcome home, Big Meech. Let's see how this go, you know, because I know the BMF series, you know what I'm saying, has definitely been the highlight of, you know, the culture the past couple of years and, you know, just seeing his story play out on the screen, you know, even though some of the story is a little bit fabricated to protect the innocent, you know what I'm saying, or the guilty, you dig? But, um, you know, some of the things been changed up. His son definitely shit getting the check off of that you know what i'm saying as well as his family so that's always a good look because a lot of times with these street guys shit out the prison you don't usually don't see nothing but stories bro some of them be able to you know benefit or profit off of these stories that they ain't done time for you know what i'm saying risk their freedom you know in, in most cases to provide for their family but uh big meech he's you know one of them guys you know what i'm saying like a lot of people will say that ain't nobody did it like big meech Ain't nobody did it like Big Meech, bro. They'll say that, like, Big Meech, the way he ran what he ran was something different. Ran like a Fortune 500. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. It's death for the Cloud Chaser TV. Kank. Yeah, he, he released, but he ain't all the way released. He, they, a lot of people thought he was going to the halfway houses, but couple of sources from Detroit told me that um he ain't in the halfway house. He on going to be on house arrest like his brother into 2026. That's what's up. Yo, what? Yo, you heard about Big Meech out? Yeah, he got out, I believe. Yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Probably the halfway. He's going to be there about six months. Yeah, no, nah, somebody close sources tell me though he gonna be in the um he on they released him on house arrest until twenty twenty six. Not yeah, happening, no, no. boy. Not happening. Nigga nigga did over twenty years. He's going to do the hundred and eighty days in the halfway house. In the federal be free, halfway huh? house. Yeah, that's not happening, nigga. Too much freedom. Yeah, you think they gonna cause you know his brother, his brother's still on house arrest. He got five. No, his brother probably did the Motherfucking halfway house. I think his brother might have did some shit. He he got out because uh health concerns or some shit like that. No, no, no. We well, we know that's why they say he got out. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm gonna keep it one hundred. Every nigga I know got out because of health concerns. Yeah. <laughs> died in six months. So yeah, that, that's cat. Yeah, like most niggas they let out because of health concerns. They die, nigga. My homie Big Rock, Big Rock Chisholm, the one Pac used to always talk about in his songs. Same way, let him out. Nigga was dead two months. Yeah, I know. When they yeah, use that, look at um, remember um, Tupac stepped daddy. Same way. They let him oh, out. Yeah. Dead yeah, they four did. months. Mm. They let you out when they know you're about to die. They don't let you out, nigga, to live another 10, 15 years. So you know, I don't believe this situation right either, but. Half his squad told him the majority of the niggas that told was from his side anyway. Yeah, from Southwest T side, right? Yeah, yeah, majority of niggas. Then I see some nigga put on some old bleary ass paperwork, but you can't even read shit. They keep sending me. Uh, Sosa or somebody? Uh, Sosa, Sosa. Uh, yeah, he put something up, but it's bleary. It's supposed to be on blue, but it's bleary as a motherfucker. You can't read shit. I, yeah, I ain't seen that. Hey, what's some Detroit? Some Detroit dudes trying to link with you? Oh, mud? No, I know mud. He came in Somebody hit me up, told me, tell Wack that it's some Detroit dudes that's linked to Blue Da Vinci, but they really linked to Blue uh, Big U, too. Trying I mean, to uh, link we up with Wack. our team in Detroit. You know, Big U fuck with me. Trick, trick, real tough. Yeah. Our location, all right? All right. Love you. I love you too. So, uh, yeah, uh, what you call the herd is talking, and, and uh, cause he heard that conversation, and he like, yo, what's this nigga talking about? He came up here moving the crowd on me's block. Whack. You remember I told you five months ago, Blue's supposed to come up here and shoot a video. I yeah. said, you did tell me that. He said, that's all that was, bro. This wasn't about no come up here and make 
meat look no top of way and none of that kind of shit. So Blue just was talking. I'm going to be real, bro. He thought the nigga was getting out next month. Dude was fucking shook. I've never seen dude that nervous, my nigga. When he was That's on the crazy. phone, a lot of shit he was saying was like, you know how niggas just be babbling, but they don't make sense? I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Saying a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> and he did it so much to where he fucked up our relationship. Because he was just anything and anybody he felt that he can reach to that made him feel secure. That's what he was doing. Because when he hit me, like, the nigga FaceTime me first. And he like, whack, I need to holler at you. If you my brother, you gonna hear me out. Certain shit gotta stop, like some shit like that, right? So I called the nigga out back, and he like, well, we gotta holler in person. So I warned him. I said, hey, I don't know what you're talking about, but understand this, Blue. In person, watch what you say to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't understanding what he what he's talking about. So for two days, he like, we got to holler if you my brother. Yeah. I think you went out. I think you went out. Nah, he went out, bro. Yeah, you hear, hear about this, though, huh, Rich? What's that, some new shit on Blue Avenger? Yeah. No, Big Meech, he free. Oh, Big Meech out? Yeah. Well, shit, he did, his, he did what he was supposed to do then for himself, right? Yep, yep. Now, shit, niggas just got, shit, we need to be on that right there. What Wax saying? Wax saying he must take his health back? No, no. Um, mm -mm, that ain't why he got out. I was talking, We was talking about his brother. His brother Southwest T got out because his health concerns. Oh, so they let Southwest T out too? Yeah, they been let Southwest T out. Like, yeah, he been out for a few years now. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that nigga work at the clothing store. If it's D. It... We can hear you Yo. now. We can hear you now. You yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. That, did you hear what I said? The nigga called me. It was like, yo, y'all didn't win that big you enough. Y'all done did the damage. This shit need to stop. I'm like, yo, Blue, if you don't get your ass off my phone, nigga, you ain't nobody to call that type of dog, nigga. What is you talking about? Homie, I'm just saying I'm putting together this table to stop Big Meech's movement. Out here in L.A. when he get out on some real Crip shit. Well, I'm not no Crip, and I don't give a fuck about how Big Meech moved. That's his business, right? But, nigga, he like, well, you know Big you. I said, well, Big you at the table, nigga, then stay away from mine. Well, homie, I don't even really know Big U. I just talked to him on the phone. Okay, well, you at the table with the police. That's what you're doing. Then, niggas, stay away from me. Now, I'm